text, XR Stories works with Tyke Films on The Telltale Rooms, audio described version. In this film, we hear from artist Andrew Cotting and his daughter Eden. He's an older man with short hair and barrel chest wearing a denim shirt. Eden is a disabled woman with new purple glasses wearing a yellow coat and colourful hand knitted scarf. We see footage of him doing up her shoelaces. She's sitting on a bed wearing a patterned folk style dress a black-and-white photo of him kissing her when she was a baby, tucking her scarf into her coat, gently placing a VR headset over her head and holding her hand. Rebecca Mark Lawson, founder of Tyke Films, talks to us from a laptop screen. She is white, middle-aged, with brown wavy hair in a bob, large brown glasses, and is wearing an orange, green and black stripy jumper. We see footage of Eden drawing and painting at a large table in a studio with book-lined walls and artists' materials. It's colourful and busy. Her pictures show large faces with round eyes, wide smiles with many teeth, flowers and lots of colour. In the VR world, there are images and videos of Eden which catch our eye as we look around a rustic, colourful house with crumbling walls looking out onto rocky, sun-drenched landscapes. We also see her art brought to life. We follow an animated head flying around and a shoal of hand-drawn fish float past. We've collaborated really since the day she was born. What do you like the most about collaborating with Daddy? Daddy. The drawing. Yeah, she likes the drawing. It's a lovely way of you know, being in touch with, uh, with your daughter. Text Telltale Rooms. Telltale Rooms grew out of an um, animated film called Diseased and Disorderly which is a collaboration with my daughter, Eden. The ambition behind it was to try and create a world which was inspired by Eden's drawings. My name's Rebecca Mark Lawson and I'm a producer at Tyke Films and I produced Telltale Rooms alongside Andrew and Eden. We started working together in 2019 on Disease and Disorderly. We were really keen to continue our collaboration on a different platform, exploring the story through VR. We pitched it to XR Stories. We were really lucky that they, they ran with it. And so I've now we've both entered into a world that uh, was completely unknowable. It's infinitely more um, immersive, compelling, inspiring, uh, moving than I ever imagined it would be. It's hyper real, but not hyper real. And it's not particularly rendered brilliantly throughout, but we're using these kind of fissures or these aberrations. You know, the, the fact that it's flawed, we're playing with that. I'd like the audience to want to experience the world and, and maybe explore the world. It's just a memory box. So Eden is a baby when she's three months, six months, three years, 12 years. Footage that I've shot on Super 8, on Hi8, on DV, on 16mm, these little snippets that the house is full of come to life and you can, it's like a trip down memory lane. I think moving into the realms of the digital and needing that expertise, I'm now working within a kind of area of the industry that I would never be, I never imagined two years ago. The XR Stories have supported our journey into VR. They're so supportive, they're on hand for meetings. They have opened up uh, collaborations with other people that are working in the field. And I feel like it's the start of a great relationship, you know, a great collaboration because they're interested in the stories that we're telling. XR really, they've committed to doing, you know, working on projects like this, which I think sometimes are quite experimental and they are taking risks. I'd like to think that it will grow and it will, you know, it will be part of their legacy. It's not the end, this is just the beginning, to use one of Eden's quotes. Do you like going into the um, Telltale Rooms? Mm. A lot or a little bit? Mm. A little bit. <laughs> a pale green screen with XR stories written in black. 